uh hello everybody welcome to my page my channel i don't know where i'm putting this video at i could put it on youtube i might put it on instagram i don't know i'm making this post because i need some help i need some insight don't mind my face i'm light skin i was leaning on my cheek um i need some insight like i'm having a work related issue that i am harboring a lot of like ill feelings and some turmoil within like it's in my chest it's hitting me in the feels, all right? And I need some perspectives. Not from one person. I need from many, anybody. Anybody that can feel this and offer some advice, a perspective, a point of view. I need it. I need it. So basically, this is what the situation is. It's a work-related situation. And um, Basically, let me give you a little background. So I work in like a corporate office setting. There's four of us that run the office. Um, and surprisingly, we are all from different um, different origins. So it's me, I'm black. There's a Hispanic, there's a Korean, and there's an Indian. So all four of us. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, and so there's us four, right? That run the office. Um, a part of our duties in the office, all right, is to run a, um, Instagram page, which we market on. We do fun things. We do contests for our community. We, um, you know, share holidays, different, like, I'm usually the one that posts a lot of creative stuff. So people will always say, oh, Sydney, I like your post. And I'm just like, yeah, thank you. Thank you. That's me that's me <laughs> um and then there's the korean she posts a lot of her children which have nothing to do with the company but you know she's a little older she doesn't really get how to use social media that much um but she posts her kids the indian you know she'll post her holidays there's a holiday called diwali i just learned about it working there you know i'm learning everybody's culture um she'll post food all that kind of stuff and i can say that in the community that I work in, it is mainly Indian. So that's like 90 something percent of the community is Indian. Um, but that's not everybody, right? There's some Africans, there's some Chinese, there's some, you know, it's a little bit of everybody in there, some Europeans or some, it's a lot, but majority are Indian. But that's not all. <laughs> now, I would just say Wednesday, it was my day to post. Wednesday is my last day of my work week. So it's my Friday. And this Wednesday that just passed, it was my day, right? My turn to post. Um, And it's also the last day of Black History Month, right? Right, right. So I decide, you know what? During Kwanzaa time, you know, I didn't really press the issue and say we, we ain't post nothing about... We, okay, we also do monthly events. So, we're incorporating holidays into those monthly events. We're celebrating something. So, you know, we celebrating everybody's stuff. Now, during Kwanzaa, I didn't say nothing. I was just like... At that moment, I wasn't pressing the issue. I was just peeping, more so observing, I can't say. I was more so observing everybody everybody's standpoint and feeling feeling the energy peeping things out i'm like okay i'm like i'm gonna be quiet about that one cool it's, it's just work don't take it too deep <laughs> like i said it's my turn to post it's wednesday it's black history month the last week of course nobody's mentioning anything as they're making their post about everybody else's shit all these other holidays that we don't know shit about so i say i'm gonna make a black history post so I do. And I'm, I basically re reposted a video that I saw on um, Instagram, like this Google ad video compilation that they put together for, you know, the most searched this, that, that. It's a bunch of topics. they did. And they just did like a compilation of like the most prominent um, black people in many different aspects. So Kendrick Lamar, Maya Angelou, um, Venus and Serena, many, many people. The most searched speech, for example, Martin Luther King, of course. The most searched, um, just so many. You guys probably saw it. 
So I was like, this is pretty dope. And it's, you know, modern. It's not too, like, it's not too black. <laughs> you know, it's, of course, for Black History Month. But, you know, I'm trying to think everybody, like, you know, it's not too, like, on a Black Power, Black Panther type, you know? It's still friendly. <laughs> so I post that on the page. And like I said, they usually say that was a nice post. That day they didn't say nothing. And I'm like, it's okay. I mean, I guess I shouldn't expect them to. They don't understand. It's okay. But that's me. I'm going to be present. <laughs> you know, basically, you're going to feel my presence up in here. You know, I'm learning about all y'all shit. We all get to know each other. Let's embrace it all. So I make that post Wednesday. Get to today, which is Friday. It's Friday. And I so happened to just check the Instagram page. And surprisingly, I see that the post has been removed. Deleted. Not by Instagram. It was deleted. And I just was like... Like, I felt like somebody punched me in the chest. I was like, damn. Wow. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm kind of hurt. I'm kind of hurt, really. I'm kind of like, and conflicted, you know, because on one side, I'm like, that's, that's fucked up. Because I want to know who made the decision, you know, and what was exactly going through their mind to say, this video needs to be removed from our page and how is that a reflection of who i am and how others are embraced within our workplace you know so i'm thinking i'm really feeling that sorry somebody called me so i'm continuing so that's one side of me right why i'm feeling like that the other side of me is thinking from a business perspective like okay um, maybe they felt like that post wasn't safe, you know, for the company, for the face of the company, for them to be celebrating, celebrating Black History Month. And that's still a problem for me, right? <laughs> like, how can I understand what mindset that that person would have had to be or those people would have had to be in to say, this needs to be removed from the page and why, you know, why, you know, is there something I'm not understanding? Like I know the corporate world is not really made for us and, you know, I'm not really at work trying to be black power, this black power, that, I mean, that's who I am. I mean, there's a part of that inside of me, right? But I understand I'm there to work and, but at the same time, I would like to be respected, respected. I would like to be recognized. You know, I don't feel like it's fair to embrace everybody else or embrace just one type of people, <laughs> you know, when there's a little bit of everybody there. And then if if we are only targeting or looking to target one kind of people, like, is that fair? You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that don't sound fair to me like th does that mean there's something wrong with us maybe we need to open up a wider range of ideas and I don't know so uh, I'm just conflicted and I just want to know from people of many ideologies many walks of life many perspectives please share with me and let me know what you think and um yeah, share some insight on, is this wrong? <laughs> like, is this wrong? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for listening and happy Black History Month.